Hey y'all, what's up and welcome to my channel. Yes, I'm wearing a trucker hat and that's because I didn't feel like doing my hair. I'm just going to be answering questions and I feel like I'm gonna be forgetting to mention what I'm using and brushes and things like that. So make sure you check the description box because I always put exactly what I use. I'll try to be more in depth with the eyeshadow but everything else I'm just playing with makeup today, so I guess I should probably introduce myself first. My name is Shelby. I am 26 years old. Yeah, I just turned 26. almost forgot how old I am. I am married, and I got married in 2016. And the first question is, how long did it take to plan your wedding? I got engaged in December 2000. Was it 14 now? Oh my gosh. And he proposed to me in Lake Tahoe on Mount Heavenly. Like, come on, dude. I had never told anyone that. That was like my dream proposal. We've been together since 2012. I knew I wanted to marry him after like a month. As soon as we got home from our trip, we went to the venue and we booked it for, it was almost exactly one year. After planning a wedding, I think 100% a year is the perfect time. I know people that have gotten married less than six months, but it was so stressful. And most people have jobs, so planning a wedding takes so much time. I would definitely give yourself a year, if not more. Do not stress about the details because at the end of the day, you will not remember all of those petty stuff and just want it to be about you and the love of your life. My biggest tip would be do not stress the little things that actually happen during the wedding. Even the process of wedding planning, you want it to be fun. It should not be that stressful. It just shouldn't. Yes, it's the most important day of your life, but it's also the most important day for both of you. Just enjoy your time. Ooh, this is a good one. What inspired you to start a channel? I know it can be scary to step out of your comfort zone. Scary as hell. I've never been in front of a camera before in my entire life. I'm gonna be taking the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Frenication palette. I'm gonna start with this shade right here. Honestly though, I was so scared to get on camera. I am not, like I hate taking pictures of myself. I've never liked things to like be about me. I don't even like my own birthday. I just could care less. I used to cry when people would sing happy birthday to me when I was little. Like, I don't like all the attention. But honestly, I just was thinking about it for years. I learned a lot of new makeup techniques through YouTube. And I feel like if it's something you think about every single day, then do it. And my thing was, I don't have the camera, I don't have the lighting, I don't have this. And, and I finally just sat in front of a cheap camera with my vanity lighting and filmed it and uploaded it nervous as hell but honestly I got so much good feedback and you know my friends were really just kind of like and my husband were really just pumping me up that gave me the motivation to keep going you know I invested in some better equipment I know nothing about technology it's almost comical how I know nothing but I've been teaching myself all of these things it excites me and this point in my life I need something for me I have no idea what look I'm going for right now but I'm gonna go in with this color right here are you a stay-at-home mom? How do I convince my fiance that in the future? That's awesome. Currently, I am a stay-at-home mom, and that is how I can make these videos and do what I love while also taking care of my son. Me and my husband made the decision. We didn't want him in daycare right now, and I'm so glad that we're able to do that because I will tell you, my son, his name is JJ, was not an easy newborn at all. He was very high needs, and I never understood when people said that because I was like, okay, well, aren't all babies high needs? I don't know. Um, well, he was like on a different level. He was just very angry and stressed all the time. You know, newborns, they eat, sleep, poop. Well, he, if he was awake, he was screaming, crying. It was just really stressful, honestly, and I couldn't imagine somebody else taking care of him, you know, after six or eight weeks. I just, there's no way. He was just so angry. And you know, we went through all the doctor visits and found out he had a tongue and lip tie. So we had, you know, both of those clipped. Also, he had the worst reflux and gas and things like that. So, you know, I had to stop breastfeeding, nursing, and after I think seven or eight weeks, because I got mastitis twice and he was just so angry 
on my breast milk and so so then we went to regular you know cow's milk formula no change finally tried soy completely different baby i can't even get over how happy he has become we also had to do the massages because his spine and neck were so tense um that's a whole other issue on itself doctors think it's because he was so cramped in my womb i had a big baby he was almost nine pounds and 21 inches i am 4'11 so i had a big baby another question oh my god this was one of the most asked questions when is baby number two how many babies do you want i'll backtrack a little bit i'm gonna go in with this dark chocolate brown i never wanted kids i mean of course you meet the love of your life this is for me not everyone would agree but once i met my husband his name is jackson i wanted to have his babies i don't know it never wanted kids before never held a baby before i just had no interest in kids we love our son so much and i would love for him to have a sibling my husband's like one and done i don't want any more and i feel like you gotta have two but after JJ, oh my gosh, it was not easy in the beginning. Um, it might take me until he's out of diapers to want another one. So I'll just leave it at that. I really want to go in with this blue. I have not even like put this on my eyes yet. So I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. I'm just taking my finger. Oh my God, that is everything. Even though it was really hard with JJ in the beginning, he is such a happy baby now. I mean, I'm obsessed with him. We go to mommy and me and gosh, he loves it. I mean, he could really care less about me. He just loves all the other babies. And that's why I think having a sibling for him would be good, but I'm not even gonna think about it. Okay, that is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes and we'll move on. How long does it take to do your makeup? It's not with looks like these. I like to give myself plenty of time, like 45 minutes to an hour. Honestly, I play around a lot with eyeshadows and stuff if I'm like going to a party or a wedding or something like that. Um, I give myself plenty of time because if you mess up, gosh, you gotta fix it. But for every day, honestly, five to 10 minutes. So what ingredients are a no-go in cosmetics? That is a great question. I'm just gonna backtrack just a little bit. I was an animal science major with a concentration in pre-veterinary medicine. So I was in a lot of sciences, did a lot of research. I just kind of like fell in love with that aspect of it, just doing the research. You know, I've been looking more into ingredients in your makeup and it's really easy to obsess over. With that being said, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation and this has basically all of the ingredients that I try to avoid, but it looks so good on my skin right now because it looks like the freaking Sahara Desert around my nose. So I'm gonna be applying this, but honestly, it has methyl parabens, which I'm pretty sure, and this is a little dark for me, so just don't mind me. I have perioral dermatitis around my nose and it can spread around my mouth. It's usually if I eat spicy foods or if I use a um, mask or something that I shouldn't have. I feel like parabens in general do me no favors and flare up the dermatitis. I really try to avoid them. Definitely avoided them while I was pregnant. Like I would not have used this. You know, if it's towards the end of the ingredient list, there's a low concentration. Another ingredient I try to avoid is dimethicones and that's in here too. Dimethicones are kind of in those primers that fill in the pores and they feel, you know, like silicone-y. I feel like if it's in your primer, really doesn't need to be in your foundation too. Fragrance, if it has a really strong fragrance, I cannot do it. I just will not. I've been looking into coconut derivatives and it's just not as good as what they say. So, you know, I try to stay away from that one. Also, citric acid is in a lot of the moisturizers I use. That also flares up my dermatitis. Citric acid is really good for brightening and I will only use it on my under eyes. If you're trying to stay away from a lot of the ingredients, Sephora has a clean at Sephora section. And if you go on their app or their website, you can just kind of filter your search results and find pretty much all makeup that's clean. I try not to obsess over it. It's very interesting though. So I'm learning more, but I'm not gonna just cut everything out immediately. It's just, it's gonna be a process. What is your favorite foundation right now? On the hunt for a new one. 
the wet and wild mega kush this is really good for every day the ingredients just suck but it's so light on your skin but i feel like it gave me a lot of coverage like i had a huge pimp right there and it's gone so I really like that one. It does have SPF in it. Depends on your skin type, but the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is really good for dry skin. And I also really like the Flower Beauty Luminous Foundation. Those are both really good. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. The shade's a little friggin' light for me. Ooh, interesting. If you could only pick one cosmetic, lipstick, mascara, blush, etc., to wear for the rest of your life, what would it be? Love and miss Oh my god, I love and miss you too. I've got to have concealer. Oh my gosh. And I can live without mascara, so maybe an eyelash curler? Hmm. What is the biggest challenge with your husband's work travel schedule and JJ? I kind of explained about my son, freaking angel now. I mean, he definitely has his moments, but he's teething, so <laughs> I would be pissed off too. Honestly, it's okay when it's like a couple days. I hate to even complain because some people, you know, people in the military and things like that, they're gone for years. It's really hard to complain about your husband being gone a week when there's some, you know, husbands that are gone for years. I don't want to complain about that too much, but it it's hard. I mean, who's going to take out the trash? That's why, you know, when you do have a baby, it's important to have mom friends that you can confide in and share and it's not fun being alone i'm going to take the kkw um, contour and just go over the cream contour i'm going to take my nars blush palette and i'm going to take the corley shade okay so i'm going to do my mascara and eyelashes i'm using the milk kush mascara while the mascara is drying, I'm going to add the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in the shade LSD. Okay, I freaking love that blue. Somebody asked, what does your husband do for a living? He is a director of sales for a legal software company. How the hell do you apply fake lashes? Send help. Girl, I don't know, but y'all want to watch me apply fake eyelashes? It will literally be comical. I'm going to use these Lashaholic lashes. They were from a boxy charm. I've used these once before and we got a wonky one over here. I didn't think I'd like them, but they're really cute. So I put mascara on before my false lashes, but I don't always curl them because my outer corner lashes are curly already and it's hard to set them down. So I'm going to use the Kiss Lash Glue. So for the life of me, I could not put on fake eyelashes until I got this glue. I don't ever do this on camera because it scares the crap out of me and I suck at doing this. Like it might take me 35 times. So I set it down in the middle first. Jesus Christ. <sighs> See y'all, I'm not good. I'm learning with y'all. <laughs> so finally it sticks and then I start with the outer corner and just pull and attach it. And then the inner corner. the worst problem blinking like an idiot once the glue is dry you can curl your lashes together I'm gonna take this ColourPop super shock cheek in the shade flexitarian I'm also gonna take this Dior highlighting palette I still can't believe my bougie ass bought this what's your go-to meal that you cook your fam we do home chef if I was sponsored by them that would be awesome, but I'm not. We do three meals a week and we do the two servings. And I will tell you, I don't like every meal, but we hate cooking, honestly. And it's funny because we're both Italian, like what the hell? Before JJ was born, I used to always do those one sheet meals where you, know, you take a cookie sheet and you put vegetables on one side and like a salmon on the other or something like that. And boom, done, like 12 minutes in the oven. How much weight did you gain while you were pregnant? If y'all must know, I gained almost 50 pounds, but I, like I said, I had a big baby. When my doctor said I would gain, I should gain at least 20 to 30 pounds, I was like, no, I would never gain that much weight. Oh my God. And I look back at pictures and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> like literally nothing fit me. I had to wear my husband's clothes. But anyway, for you nosy people, I have lost it all, but that's thanks to high-waisted leggings, so. 
And then how did I lose the weight? Well, once I stopped pumping and breastfeeding, I was a lot less hungry. So I think just, I don't work out. Um, we go on walks and but I don't work out. I didn't work out during my pregnancy and that's probably why I did gain a lot of weight. JJ was raised on Chick-fil-A. I had that maybe three or four times a week. I know that's horrible, but oh my gosh, I couldn't stop. And then for the lip look, I'm gonna use the Ciate Glitter Flip. These are the ones where you apply, let it dry fully, and then smack them together and voila, glitter. Probably not with this eye look, it's gonna look amazing, but I've been really wanting to play with these. I really like this little applicator. It like kind of hugs your lip, pretty cool. I would love to be more you know, raw and you know, show me all the times that JJ does cry and you know, when times are hard because people are like, it doesn't even look like he cries. Oh, he cries. Oh, he's got an attitude. So when you start a YouTube channel, you become vulnerable, I feel like, and people wanna see the raw and the real you. And I don't think that's bad. I feel like I'm doing this to be myself and to show y'all that being a mom is hard at times because a lot of people now make it look like it is easy peasy lemon squeezy and it is not honey like i'm finally getting to the point to where my days are so much easier you know with that babies change their schedules all the time so i'm learning you can learn with me i'm not a makeup artist i'm still learning I'm not a perfect mom, I'm still learning. I'm not a perfect wife, I'm still learning. And that's what life is about. All right, y'all, I hope y'all liked the way the makeup look came out. I don't even remember like half of it. I was just yap, yap, yapping away. I pretty much answered everyone's questions. My goal of this video is just for y'all to get to know me a little more. I'm just even proud of myself for getting out this many videos and being consistent for almost 11 or 12 weeks now. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and I will see y'all next time. Bye y'all. How many pitchers of Margs do you think we could drink in one sitting? Oh my God, Jen. I could have a half of a glass and be trashed right now. Just saying. How much do you love your best friend Emily? Like a lot, obviously. Do dance team makeup. Ooh, that would be fun. I could go heavy.